Hello everyone! Today we'll be using a genuine app of Keynote to create icon design like this Instagram icon. This is really easy to do, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to create it and introducing you to some of the useful functions in Keynote. This Keynote was recently updated, and we can now use the trackpad and the mouse a lot more quickly, with a lot of stylish templates added. You can easily create an elegant presentation here too, so that's something I want to explain to you by the end of this video. Once you open Keynote, we will start from the plus button. Now you should see many templates on the screen, and this time choose Basic White from the Basic tab. This one. This is a play template with a simple design. When you open it, there are already text on the slide, so delete them all. Tap the screen and you should see Delete. We will be creating an icon for Instagram here, but an icon should be square shaped, so we'll be trimming this canvas to a square. When doing so, from these three dots at the upper right, there's a tab that says Document Setup, so tap it, and at the right button, you should see Slide Size. So tap the one on the very right where you can customize the size on your own. So this time we'll set it as 500 times 500. This way, we now have the square size canvas ready like this. Now we'll be adding gradation background here, but Kino has a gradation function that does that quickly. Go to the brush mark at the top right here, and we have the background color set as white right now. Tap it to change the color. If you click on the color tab, it shows you a color palette with a variety of options. There is a tab called Gradation right next to that, and this is where we'll be creating our gradation background. We can choose two different colors, including star color and end color. So we could set the star color yellow and the end color pink, for instance, to make the gradation color like this. You could invert color as well as the angle of gradation to decide from which direction you want the gradation to come from. I want to work on the color here a bit more to make it resemble an Instagram app, so I'm going to do that while putting my iPhone on the side. Select the brush icon again, and tap the background color to change the colors we did earlier. Even though we used the color palette earlier, if you swipe right, it switches to a color wheel. Here we could adjust more details, including saturation and brightness, where we can set it darker or lighter. So this is where we set details for the icon. Since we can only choose two colors, even though the actual Instagram probably got two to four colors, it would be impossible to do this to perfection, but by adjusting details such as the angle, I think it's possible to create something similar. Once gradation is done, we'll be adding a rectangle shape with rounded corners. From the plus button, select the shape tab here, and click on the basic on the very left. You can find a rectangle shape with rounded corners here, so select it, and it'll be displayed on the screen like this. Now we can adjust the size. When changing the color, Use the brush panel. Select this brush panel here, and tap fill to change the color, but select no fill this time. Below that we can find what's called picture frames, so turn it on. You can see the black frame added just now. So here, change the color to white, and the thickness of the frame to create a square size rectangle, which resembles an Instagram map. On a side note, if you click on this style option, 
You can also set the frame design, so you can make it a dotted line or a handwritten line. To adjust the roundness of these corners, you can see there is this green mark here. And the more you slide this, the more round the corner gets like this. So let's stop it right here. It should be good. Next, in the same way, we'll be creating a circle inside the icon. So from the plus button, grab an oval shape and place it on the screen. From the brush panel, set no fill and turn on the picture frames option. Alright, just like this, it's complete. You could easily create an Instagram app like icon only using the gradation tool and the shape tool. Right now, the corners of the icon itself are round. So if you want to make them round too, instead of setting the gradation color as the gradation in the beginning, grab this rounded rectangle tool and set it on the screen. Then fill in with the gradation here. This way only the area within the rounded rectangle is filled with the gradation. And the rest is the same. So we'll be adding a white frame. Once you've done these, it's time to export. But something I want you to keep in mind when exporting is that since the background is color in white right now, make sure to change it to no background color. This way we have a transparent background and this is where we'll be exporting. When doing so, from the three dots at the upper right, select Export. From here, choose Images. This gives you a list of options, so select Ping. Make sure that the transparent background options is turned on at the bottom here too. Click on Export and save the image. Now we have this icon saved in the camera roll. Since the background is transparent, we can easily paste it onto other apps too. Alright, that was all about showing you how to create an Instagram app icon. The app we use today, called Keynote, is usually used for making presentation slides. It's got a lot of features, and it was kind of an advanced edition of it today. But if you want to create stylish presentation slides, there are many templates available once you open the app. I'm on the most updated version right now, where a lot of new templates are added, and this is where you can select your preferred template. Once you choose your template, it first shows you a simple slide like this. But there is a plus button at the bottom left, meaning add slides. So you can add more slides from here. If I click on one of these slides, it gets added as a second page. So just like this, we can keep adding slides. The color or the design of all slides remains the same. So just choose your favorite slide design and type in text freely and you can create a beautiful presentation with a uniform look. They also have other options such as this one with image gallery slides. If you click on the plus button at the bottom right, you can insert your images. This one emphasizes the title, which is super bold. I think this one is really stylish. There's so many other template options, like this one can be great for those who want to do a presentation on fashion or cosmetics. Keynote is a genuine and a free app, so I hope you check it out and see what they have. Okay, that's all for today. I hope I was able to show you how to make use of some hidden features of Keynote and that you can do a lot with Keynote. Please give it a try when you have time. Thank you for watching my video. And I hope to see you in my next video.
拜拜。